Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, we last tutorial I went through um, the basics of a half adder, and I've just got the circuit um, a little bit different, uh, slightly laid out differently, but basically the same as what we did last time. Uh, so the half adder, as I said, it was all about adding two bits um, together in a single column, uh, and then producing the sum, that is the output of the add, uh, and um, for that column and a carry bit which would then feed into the next column uh, and that really brings us to now what we call the full adder right the half adder only deals with adding two bits together in a column or you know if you're adding two bit strings together it doesn't handle the carry in bit which would obviously come from a previous column uh, and so the full adder actually deals with that. So what I'll do is I'll leave this circuit here for the minute and I'm going to design a full adder down here and once I've finished testing it, then connect it up to this half adder. And then hopefully what you'll see from that is the pattern that occurs for adding uh, all the columns in, in a bit string together. So let's bring in, uh, I'm going to bring in three inputs, right? One is a carry bit and two input bits. So I'm, I'm going with a convention now that the uh, the two bit strings are um, uh, the first, so the left one is one, so ignore that actually for the second. Uh, this is the first bit string, so that's the least significant bit, that's the next significant bit, and this is the second bit string, the, the least significant bit, and then the next significant bit, and it would keep going down like that. Uh, you could obviously arrange these in, in a much more um, readable way, and I would expect you guys to do that. Um, for the sake of um, keeping it nice and clear for us, but uh, but for now, just for, for ease, I'm doing it like this. So I'm just going to label this guy. This is a carry in, all right? And this is uh, well, this is really in one again, uh, in two. Um, it's probably not the best labels to use, but I'll for now I'll just do that. Okay, so. The thing to think about here is that basically the logic is all the same, but we've got an additional input, right? The carry in bit. Now, eventually we're going to connect it up from here, but for now we'll leave it like that. Now, all these numbers have to be added together, right? That's the point, right? But so far we've only seen how to add two bits together. Now we've got three bits. But what is really adding three bits together? Well, that's really just adding two bits together and then adding the output of that to the third bit. So by that intuition, I hope you can see that all you'd really need to do is use two half adders, right? One half adder to add these two bits together, and then another half adder to add this bit to the result of that addition, right? And then there's a little bit we have to do, really just one other gate, actually, that then combines those two outputs to determine if there's a carry out to the next column. Right, let's, we'll get there in a second. So let's first deal with the half adder. So I could literally, uh, and I will do this just because it's quicker, I could literally copy and paste this stuff here, all right? Because I'm gonna use it all again, all right? And I move it down here, all right? Now I'll have to tidy this up a little bit, um, but uh, let me just give myself some room. Keep everything lined up. Uh, actually, I should do that too, and do that there. Okay. Now, and in fact, uh, this is a little bit low. I'm going to bring it a little bit further down, so we can actually um, line them up the way they need to be. So, just like in this case, you can see the two. Um, inputs here feed into the XOR gate. So we're adding the two bits. So I'm just going to connect up these wires here. So the XOR gate does the sum of these two. And the AND gate, just like before, determines if, if they're both on, then there's a carry bit to be set. And we better change the label there. So I'm just going to come in here and set that to 1. And similarly, I'm going to set uh, this guy to 1. OK. so. That's great, right? We've done the addition there, but what about the carry in bit? As I said, we think about this as basically being the addition of two bits and then the addition of the third bit to the output of the addition of the first two bits. So by that, we can simply see, and again, I probably need to make space. So I'm just gonna go and move everything 
down a little bit further, um, like that, I'm going to need another half adder, right? And hopefully you can see why we start calling this a full adder, because it's basically made up of two half adders. Uh, I won't just copy and paste, I just want to be clear about this. So what I need to do, firstly, is say, okay, the output of this sum has to be added to this bit. So that would obviously need another XOR gate, because XOR gates basically do binary addition, right? They're, they're little mini adders. Uh, and so we set the uh, number of inputs to 2. And basically now I just have to bring up the output of that one and connect it in, bring across that one, and that will determine the sum. And actually, this was premature because... Uh, I'll get rid of it. I'm just going to get rid of this bit too, because now the sum is not the output of just this addition. It's the out of both of these two bits and this bit. So let me just bring that LED in here. Okay. And that's, oh, I shouldn't have copied it. Uh, we'll just do that. And that, I'll bring that down and modify the name to one. Okay. So now I connect this to this. So this is the output for this column, right? Sum, uh, I just want to bring them across. I just want to sort of tidy this up a little bit so that we're all lined up. Okay, sum zeros, there's the output of the first column, here's the output of the second column, right? That's, that's what goes into the second column, the addition of those two guys. Now, there's also another bit of logic to think about for carry, right? Because if this was one and the output of this was one, then that would also set this guy here. So actually this line here, this wire here, I'll just take it away because it's not quite finished. If this guy is one and this guy is one, then we would set the carry bit because one plus one is one zero and that means carrying to the next column. Equally, if that is one, or if either of these guys is one, and the carrying bit is one, that would be the same, right? One plus one is one zero. Carry the bit to the next one. The last combination is what if they're all one, right? One and one and one, right? In the previous cases, we had a carry bit set, but we didn't have a sum bit set because the output in this column would be zero. But if they're all one, then actually that adds up to one one in binary, which is three, right? Uh, so that actually means that there's a one set for the column and there is a carry bit set. So basically what we're saying is that if uh, if this is one and the output of the addition is one, there's a carry bit set. Equally, just like we've got here, if these guys are one, both one, then that would also set the carry bit. So lastly, what we need is simply another AND gate, right, to do the checking of uh, is this set and this set. If they're both set, then there's a carry to be done. So we bring in the AND gate, just so this is the other half adder, uh, and the input is set to two. Okay, so I'll just bring that down. It's a little bit ugly. And this guy as well, I'll just bring it up like that. Um, okay, now that means that we've got an output coming out of here and an output coming out of here, both of which are saying there's a carry bit to be either set or not. If either of them is one, then yes, the carry bit is set, right? Now that sounds like an X, uh, sorry, not an XOR gate, an OR gate, right? An OR gate is the great combining gate, right? Because if any of the bits are set, it will be always on if anything is set. And that's exactly the property that we're after here. So we set the number of inputs to two. We can now combine the output of this check for carry with this one. And let me just bring that guy up. And finally, a bit more, we can set that guy there. Okay. So now I can test this. So if this guy is on, one plus zero with no carry is one. Similarly, the other way, right? 
that just like before. We already tested that in the last one. Now, what if they're both on? Well, if they're both on, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So there's the 0, and there's the carry, the 1 to carry on. All right. And the last one, remember, is this one. What if there's a carry and these guys are on? Well, then in that case, then that means it's 1, 1. Right? And that's what we get, 1, 1. And if either of these guys was on and that was on, uh, then equally the same. It's, it's exactly the same as adding you know, 1 plus 0 here, right? It's, it's just the same. We get the output of 1 and a no carry in that case. And obviously if nothing's on, then nothing carries and nothing is summed. Now, that's great, but obviously this carry in pin here isn't what we want. We want to actually connect it to the previous adder, the previous half adder that we've already designed. So let's just drag down a wire. I'm just going to do this, the scenic route. Right now, what we've got is a two bit adder, right? Because this is our first column and this is our second column. And the carry from the first one feeds into the second one. And so if I was to add, um, if I have one plus zero, if I have one one plus zero, then the output is one one. If I added another one here, then you can see here 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. I've just got the um, LED to show that. That's feeding into here. Now, 1 plus the, um, the 1 coming in here puts a 0 in there and a carry out there, and so on. Okay? So the behavior is doing what we expect, and you, you can test it yourself to see. Now, here's the great thing, right? What do we do to keep adding more bits? Well, it's the same pattern, isn't it? Because uh, if I put it, if I were to literally copy all of this circuit here, all right, I won't do it because I run out of room. Well, I can, maybe I can actually. Well, I won't do that now. But if I was to copy that and put it down here, connect up the carry as the in again, then you've got the next column and so on and so on and so on. And that can go as long as you like, right? So if you're adding 32 bit strings, you'd have literally, um, you'd have these um, you'd 31 half, um, full adders and a, and a single half adder at the very first bit. And basically that's how it would work, right? So this is the basics of an adder. Um, it's really important that you do your own practice, designing it completely yourself. I actually, would recommend not copying and pasting directly uh, until you're comfortable with it because even just repeating that process helps you understand what's going on. Uh, and hopefully that's helped um, clarify the adder for you. Okay.